What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and we are back with another episode of our Akron Dynasty in NCAA Football 06. Give everybody a chance to get in here before we get started. Really excited about this one. We're going to play our last two games of the season today. And going to play the conference title game and going to play a bowl game. Should be a whole lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And in our previous video, we played two games. We took on Ohio, won 49 to 14. As you can tell, they're winless this year. They're the worst team in our conference. No issues whatsoever. And then our last game of the regular season, we took on Kent State, ended up being them bad, uh, pretty badly as well. Uh, just in the first half, we were just way too dominant, and it was just a little too little too late, especially in the second half. So we finished nine and two. We are first in our division, which means we're going to play in our conference title game, and that is against Toledo. Now Toledo, they are six in the country. They're undefeated. Their star running back is probably going to win the Heisman Trophy. It'd be cool if he did, but maybe we can shut him down the day, and that won't happen. But you look at their stats. They are incredible across the board. Like, they just could do nothing wrong. They, they're they having a magical season. This is what we're aspiring to be while we're in the MAC is to have a season like this where we just put the whole world on notice. So let's see what happens here. And before we take them on, I, I didn't even look at their roster. I think they run a spread offense and, I, and maybe a 4-3 defense, but we will find out once we head into the game. Before we do that, let's talk about recruiting. And we have committed, get, got two guys to commit, and that is Bruce Newell, the new A back for us. He will play you know, on the outside. Really excited to have him. And we got wide receiver Adam Malloy. We'll definitely need receivers in the regular season. They're just going to be hard to get in the offseason just due to we don't throw the ball a whole lot. But I'm really excited to have him. So we got two playmakers coming in next year. So this is the beginning of our first recruiting class. We're really excited about that. Unfortunately, we try to get a couple other dudes. It just didn't work out. We just didn't put enough points in them, and they went to a better team, so I kind of understand. Either way, I'm not worried about it. We got to be excited about the ones that are coming here. So let's go ahead and take on Toledo. And I'm really, I, again, I haven't even looked at the roster, and somebody's already in trouble. Let me guess. It's probably corner. So, Chevin Pace is in trouble. Let's see what he did. Uh, according to the sign-in sheet, Pace didn't show up for voluntary workout. Maybe considered voluntary by some, but it's considered mandatory in our book. So, here's the problem. We already got corner out for the year, so it's really hard for me to go nickel to begin with. Our base is 425, and... This guy is one of our starters. At least I'm pretty sure he is. We're going to have to go check out our roster really quick. And we're going to have to make some decisions. Let's go, uh, let's go over here. So he is uh, by far our best strong safety. And ha having him out today is going to make it even harder. And we're just down to hardly nothing. It's almost to the point where I'm going to have to run 4-3. Because I'm out of strong safeties. If he doesn't play today. But it's a voluntary workout. The thing is... Let me look here. When you don't discipline somebody, I think things can get bad. See, it's just a, a very small discipline disciplinary issue, but our bar has gone back up close to half. I wonder if I'd done like two quarters. Will that help a little bit? Like, I would love to do the game. I really would, but it ain't going to make that much of a deal. Let's just take him out for a half and see if we can survive a half without him. Otherwise, man, our secondary is just absolutely depleted, but what do you do? So let's check out their uniform. This is their default. Pretty cool. Uh, I bet they got a... Nope, they don't have a, an alternate. So we'll go with that. All right, should be a lot of fun. Again, hopefully our secondary can hold on at least a little bit till half. Otherwise, again, I'm going to have to play some 4-3 this first half until they spread us out, and I guess I got no choice but to at least play nickel. <clears throat> Either way, conference title game. Really excited. Wasn't expect to get to the conference championship this first season, but we'll definitely take it. We've 11-0 versus 9-2. 
Hopefully everybody can hear that pretty well. I boosted up my volume a little bit on the game. The MAC Conference Championship takes place today. Should be a great one. Playing in Ford Field. I can lower it down a little bit. This is the same bowl or same stadium where host the what the GMAC Bowl. So this is the guy. This is the stud right here. Probably gonna win the Heisman. Unless we can really make him look bad today. We'll see. I expect them to pick Toledo, and they're going to. Let's go to the coin toss. They won it, and they will get the ball first, which is fine. Let's check out their roster. Let's see how good they really are. Again, these they are the best team in the conference, and I'm sure it'll be by talent. So they're starting quarterback, Bruce Gretkowski, 95 overall, 68 speed, pocket passer. At least we don't have to worry about him running around a whole lot. But their bread is buttered through this guy right here. Thankfully, he's not an impact guy. So it wouldn't shock me if they just don't give him the ball a ton because of that. And if that's the case, we may get lucky today. But he's the one that is just doing everything right for them. So everything's going to go through him again, at least, uh, if they decide to just go through their impact guys. Fullback, 90 overall. I mean, their backfield's insane for the conference. And this guy can run. Uh, his, look at these two. Look at all three of these backs. My goodness, imagine having all three of these guys or just one of them on our team. We would have a true B back this year that could really run and do some things. So hopefully we can recruit that later on. Wide receiver, 89, 82, 78, 78. I mean, just a good group of receivers. Tight end, 95 overall, 76 speed. They are just loaded. They got more talent than some power five schools. 76 overall, his backup, 80 overall. I mean, just, you know, what do you do? So they got talent across the board on offense. You look at their offensive lines, 87, 82, 82, 85, and 78. The best offensive line in the conference, I would say. So D, let's look at their defense. I don't know. They, they may run a 3-4. This is a humongous defensive end. So an 80 there and an 82 there. This guy's really small, so who knows. We look at defense tackle. So this guy's out. For the day, that's it's going to help. Then you got a 78 and 80 at defense at tackle. Outside linebacker, 76, middle, 88. Would love to have this kid. You look at our middle linebacker situation, and it's an issue. We had to move somebody over just to make it kind of work. Right outside linebacker, 78. So their front seven is pretty solid. Corners, 82, 82, 82, and then 68. Would love to have any of those guys right there. Free safety, just 76 overall, 84 speed. Maybe we can uh, exploit that a little bit. Then this is where we get lucky. Their top defensive players out for eight weeks. So they're down a strong safety. We're down a strong safety. Something's got to give. Kicker, excellent, 92. Then he got a punter at 80. So let's get this show on the road. Let's see if we can win our first conference title. Now, they don't have any impact guys on the back end, so I'm going to kick it straight. And we're off and running. Let's see if we can have a really solid game. And that's him right there. And it looks like we're going to get a clipping out of the gate. We will definitely take that. So they're going to start on the 15. Again, I got to go 4-3. I'm going to go zone blitz. I think they're going to pass more than usual just because of their quarterback. And their tight end. But they may run a lot. Yep, so they're going to pass. Get him, get him, get him. Good open field tackle. Second and four. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to go nickel quarters. So you're not going to see hardly any 4-2-5 today, cause, or at least until the second half, because our top strong safety is out. I had to suspend him. Let's see if we can make a play over here. Ooh, that, mm, that was close. Super close. Third and four. I'm going to go cloud. I think they'll pass, even though it's just third and four. They may run it. I'm going to go after him myself. He's got all day to throw. Going to pick up a first down through the tight end. Really good ball player. I've, I have a feeling he's going to get the ball a lot today. I'm going to go 4-3, cover two, man. I think they'll run it. I think they're due just to hand the ball off to Dawson. Let's get everybody lined up correctly. Going to go QB draw. 
nowhere to go there. The guy's not fast enough, so I thought that was kind of a goofy call, but that's on them. I'm going to do another zone blitz. We got supposedly the best defense in the country, but we kind of know that's a bit flawed. I think they got a tight end out in the slot. Somebody get him. Oh, that was super close. Intercept that. Huge play. Huge, 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 huge. And who made the interception? You know who made the interception. It's always McNeil. He's always there. It's incredible. So we great little play right here. Good swap by my impact corner. And McNeil picks up the interception. Golly. Insane. This may be a good little thumbnail right here. If I can put like a cursor on him. Uh, that would actually be pretty cool. Wow, that's a nice one. Let me see if I can get that. I didn't. I forgot to open this up. Let me see if I can get that correctly. I hope I've done that. I don't think I did. I'm having the hardest time with my little... Forgive me for not doing this correctly. There we go. There we go. So that may be our thumbnail for the day. I'm going to go play action on them. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Now they're, they are a three or four teams, so I got to be mindful of that with my runs. Cover one. Good little throw. That's a face mask. They didn't call, but I think we'll get a first down there. It's first and ten. Let me go. Twin half back. Twin half back. Twin half back. Let me just get those out of the way. Let's go basic option. We're going to run to the right. I could go to my wide receiver play, but I like what I'm seeing here. Ah, interesting. So I tried to pitch it, and I guess I just didn't pitch it quickly enough. Well, so it's second and ten. Let's go triple. So it's second and ten. 3-4-4-3 three, four, four, three doesn't matter when it comes to triple. You just got to read the same thing. But ah, That was my fault. So that makes it, what, third and ten? We can try. I'm going to go vertical. We will probably go to Hickson over the middle. Let's see if we can do that. Ew, just enough. Great throw by Jackson, and Hickson's hurt. Injured his head. That shouldn't be too serious, though, I don't think. Killer throw by Jackson, though. They went cover three. You see right here with the three high look. And he was my go-to guy anyways on this play, but just enough of a touch to get over that linebacker for a first down. Great play. So fingers crossed. Hopefully Hickson isn't seriously hurt. Let's go back to triple. It's first and, ten, and, this is the fifth play. and again, I, I, I don't even forget. I, need, I can run those sweeps and such. I guess we'll go to the left. Six points, baby. Nice. Do you know who, Briggs, who's been just killing it for us all season? We're going to miss him next year big time. I didn't use the speed button or anything on that one. I just kind of went through. Again, having an impact halfback makes all the difference. Just busted right through that cat. Oh, my gosh. That may be a good thumbnail right here. Let's see if I can get something right here pretty good. Uh, something like that would be pretty nice. Let me see if I can get that one, too. So we're off to a good start. Forced a turnover. Scored a touchdown. Now let's get back on offense or on defense and see if we can get another stop. So, again, it won't shock me if they don't give the ball to their running back a lot today just because he's not an impact player. It would be foolish of them not to, but I kind of get it. You got an impact quarterback. You got an impact tight end. You got to feel like you got to go to them. Let's see what they do, though. Oh, that was a good hit. That's a face mask. They didn't call that one. I can't go here. Let's go. I'm going to stay in quarters. I think they're going to throw majority of the day. Do an over front. Toss. Ah, I completely whiffed on that one. So he's going to get about eight yards there. At least they're smart. They finally gave it to him. 
I'm going to go cover two man. I could see him just going right back to him to try to pick up the first. They're going to pass it. Do their tight ends. So that's his second catch of the day. We could try another zone blitz. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to try to occupy this tackle. Let's see if McNeil can get through. Nope. Oh, again, again, again. Oh, he broke the sack. Oh, my gosh. But he made a terrible throw. That's another interception. It may be one of those games where they just can't do anything right again. I hope that's not the case. I want to see this team actually compete with us, but he threw it off his foot, off the back foot, more or less. I don't, this zone just absolutely, he just didn't see, I don't know. Okay. So we're on the seven. Let's go with the basic option. And I forgot, they keep doing off front. I need to do more dives. Just get a block right there. And I didn't get the touchdown, but we're going to get a face mask. So everything's just going our way at the moment. We'll accept that. First and goal. We'll go here. We'll go Sting. I'm pretty sure they'll go goal line on us. And they will. We'll go this way. Just get our touchdown. And that, just like that, we're up two scores. I don't ever want to get to the point where I, I'm not allowed to call like zone on this team or on teams that really pass the ball because our zone defense is going to really shut them down at times. Now, then you got some games where we played against Bowling Green where their quarterback played well. We played against who was the team after where we played where their quarterback played well. Ball State, his quarter, I mean, their quarterback just put whatever points they wanted on us or yard-wise. But right now, their amazing quarterback is just making bad throws. So let's see what they'll do. Maybe they can get a touchdown or something here. I'm going to go, again, are my zone blitzes just really affecting them? I think that was the zone blitz I called on that last one. We'll try it again. Intercept that. Caduce to my free safety. He just made a play right there. They're going... I think they're going to run it here. I'm going to go 4-3, man. Cover two. We're going to do this. It said... Oh, they're going five wide. Okay. It said they was going three wide, but... That's out of bounds. So now it's third and long. So let's see how he handles my cloud coverage. One thing I may do with next season, I, I have a, a couple ideas for how to change, make things a little bit harder. I, I'm not really going to get into it now. That's a good throw. He got it in. He got that one in. Wow. Good throw. First and 10. I think he got a, a pinky toe in right where it needed to be. Oh, my gosh. He's out of bounds, but they're going to call it. Oh, God. I can't throw the challenge flag. So it's first and 10. I'm going to go back to cover two man. I think they'll run it. We'll do something like this. Good tackle. Only picks up a few. Uh, we're going to try another zone blitz, a different one this time. We're going to hit the B gap. We're going to flip that. I'm going to occupy this tackle, or this guard. Ended up having to go to the center. Oh, just... This tight end's really good. He's going to break some records tonight, and we got another player hurt. Well, that's our first one of the day. I didn't see it either. I'll go back to man. So this may be their big drive starter right here, their first touchdown. They can finish it. 
I went the wrong way. Good job, Al. I don't even know what I'm diving at there. So that's an easy first down. Uh, I'm going to go quarters and a nickel. Looks like they're going ace bunch. I may bump and run one of these guys down here. Oh, he barely got a hand on it. Just enough. I'm going to go back to another zone blitz. I'm going to flip it. We can attack the weak side, and I'm going to occupy this tackle. Let my blitzer come through. But he didn't. He, faked, he got faked on that one. So that's the end of the first quarter. But it's third and four. This is a critical play right here. They're going goal line. Ugh, we'll go man lock. I'm going to flip it. Just in case they run to the strong side. And they're going that way. Somebody stop them. Nice. We're going to force a field goal. And we got another player hurt. So what happened to the other guy? So let's go back and look at that. Let's go to in-game strategy. Let's go to injury report. So, okay, so the other guy, he came back. So that wasn't serious. This one right here, another head injury. Well, apparently Hickson didn't get hurt badly because he was the one that was hurt earlier. So these head injuries normally aren't too egregious in this game. So I'm hoping for the same with Roar. But we're going to force a field goal. Robin, line up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. He gets it up. Tried and true. And it sails through the upright. And here's the so they're on the scoreboard finally. So I say we get down the field and see if we can get a touchdown. This will be our first full drive of the game. Our first two touchdowns were off turnovers, short fields. Let's see if Montgomery can create some magic for us. Nope. We are on the right hash. I'm going to go basic dive. And we're going to try to attack this 3-4. So Roar's coming back. That's good. And they are spreading out. Let's go to the right. Just fumble. That's not what we got it back, though. Man, super lucky. That's all it would have took for them to get back in this thing was them to get that ball. They would have scored probably real quickly after that. But they're not going to. We, kept, we was able to recover it. Let's go basic option, see if we can make that up. They're going 5-2, which I guess is a compliment to the 3-4. I'm going to go to the right. We got less numbers over there. Ooh, get it, get it, pick it up. There you go. Face mask. Oh, we're going to get lucky. Another face mask. <laughs> we will accept that, and it's first and... Oh, it's second and one. Since it's second and one, I'm going to try another play-action play. If I can find it. There it is. Yeah, if they go cover two, no, I don't think I'll be able to. I was thinking about going to Hickson, but let's see what they call. Cover two. Ooh. Safety got over there in time. So that makes a third and one. I'm going to just hand the ball to Briggs. And they're going 5-2 again. We're going to run to the right before they switch over. Just enough. Barely get it. Welcome in, Pedro. Let's go triple. And see if we can get something going with it. I'm going to go, oh gosh. I'm just going to hand the ball off is what I'm going to do, but they're just, just picking my five yards. If they're going to spread out like that with a 3-4, I might as well just hand the ball up the middle. Just no reason not to. We'll go back to basic option. Oh my gosh, they're just spreading out a hundred times over. But they was able to get through that pretty easily. Center got beat. My left guard got beat. Third and six. Uh, we can try a rollout play. And we're going man. And I'll just make the call. This is the first game. This is the conference title game. 
Come over here. Just get the first down. Barely. I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. Okay, so from here, what I want to do, we're going to go triple, but we're going to go with our wide receiver play. I'm going to call an audible. Thanks for the kind words, Pedro. Get up. Yeah, just going to have to pitch it quickly on that one. So Hickson's going to get a touch, finally. Get a first down there. Now I may go play action off of this. We'll probably go back to normal. We'll go PA row right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. This time they're going man, so I got some options. I'll go to one of the receivers, more than likely. And they're going cover zero. Ah, bad throw. Threw it out of bounds. So that's second and ten. I may stay here and just go triple. See, they're spreading everybody out. Oh, my gosh. It's like they want me to go up the middle. Ah, I try to pitch it. You saw me try to. He pitched it with his offhand. Look, you see me try to pitch it right there, and I guess I just didn't do it quickly enough. So it's third and forever. We can try vertical again. And there's a very good chance we'll go back to Hickson. Uh, watch that. I'm not... Make a play. Oh, my gosh. Did he get in? Oh, my gosh. So they went cover three. I was going to go to Hickson, but this guy blitzed. So I didn't think I was going to have enough time, so I just felt the need to roll to my left. And at this point, I'm like, who's open? Well, Briggs is open over here on the left, but can he get a first down? I don't know. Then he cut up. I'm glad I didn't throw to him right there. That was going to be a bad play. Then I saw Montgomery kind of open up top. He ended up being a pretty decent throw, but he stepped out of bounds. So where are we? We're on the 43. I better punt it. I'm going to do a sky punt. That way I don't really goof this up. I just kind of want to get it close to the end zone. We'll try. Ooh, well, this may go into corner anyways. Ah, not a bad kick. So they're going to get it at, what, the 11? So that's a good stop by them. I'm going to go quarters out of nickel. We'll do something like this. Ooh, oh, what a hit. Golly, J. Roar. I guess he's not feeling too bad after all. Man. Oh, my gosh. Boom, what a hit. That may be our thumbnail for the day. Let me go and get that while I'm here. If I can get a good one. That may be uh, something like that would be pretty good. Or I can come back here. Do something like that would be a pretty good one, maybe. Oh my gosh, what a killer, killer hit. Second and ten. I'm going to stay in quarters. So it's and ten. I think they're going back out five wide. The come out in a bunch nope, they're not. They said they went four wide receiver and, two t and one tight end. They're moving their tight end around a lot today. Play action. Ooh, do you see that? Their guys got stuck over here. So I don't know if the play call was or my the design wasn't very good. These two guys got stuck. I wonder what I need to go back and fix this play if that's the case. So what play is that? So it's at an ace bunch. Play action. It's one of the play actions. I can fix that later. Third and ten. Let's see if we can get another stop. I'll go after him myself. I can't get to him. Intercept that. He just threw it really quick. I don't know why he did. I guess he saw him open. It just wasn't a very good throw. Oh, he stopped. The receiver stopped. Look at this guy up top, top right here. He hesitated. He stopped just enough. Oh, that's really weird. So we're going to force the punt. We need one more score before the half. Somebody get a 
Just don't fumble it. Nowhere really to go on that one. So we're on the right hash. I'm going to go right back to him, but we're going to go basic option, and we'll see what they do. We'll stick with this. I'm going to run to the right. I had to pitch that one off quickly. Got a little spooked. I'm going to try basic dive, see if we can attack that 3-4. But they're going man, so this may not work. We'll go to the right, get a block right. Ooh, yes. Ah. I forced his own teammate to block him, so it's third and two. We'll go Sting. I think they'll stick with 3-4. Ooh, they're going nickel. We're going to run to the right. Seems best just to hand the ball off to Jackson. I should get that. And I did. So it's a minute and a half. I kind of need to get with it. So we can try that rollout play again. And it looks like they're going man again. Uh, can I get around? Make the play. Great defense. He was able to get a hand on it. So it's second and ten. Uh, we can go back to basic options, see if we can pick up those yards. So this 3-4 makes it a little bit tougher to run to the outside, but we're going to try it here. I, I try to pitch it, and it just wouldn't do it. It's so weird. It don't show up, but I, I try to pitch it. So it's third and 12. I guess we'll go vertical. And that clock is going. I'm kind of waiting for the clock to go down. So, well, let's just go ahead and snap it. Let's, let's be fair. Ooh, watch out. I had no chance on that one. That was obvious that my left tackle got destroyed. And I was just running for my life at that point. So we're going to have to punt it. And they stopped the clock. So the best offense of the country, we've held them to three points just because they've turned the ball over a couple of times. But let's see if they can do something before the half here. And he's got room to work. He's going to fair catch it, though. So can they get down the field that quickly? We're about to find out. I got to go back to 4-3. We can go to 4-2-5 in the second half. We'll go here. Ah, good little play. I had like three guys to defend there. Second and seven. We'll go back to quarters. This time from Nickel. Ball on their own 29. Greg Kowski is back in the gun. Let's see what they do on this play. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Uh-oh. Uh, that should be out of bounds. It was a good effort, but it's third and seven. And they're going what in the world? Are they going goal line? Is that what I'm saying? I'm going to call a timeout. That's really weird. That threw me off. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess we're just want to run out the clock. See, they're doing the same thing. Oh, gosh. I'm going to – we'll go man lock. I probably should have went basic 4-3, to be honest. Don't call anything goofy here. Just going basic run. Oh, no. You knew it was coming. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, we got – you got to be kidding. Another turnover. Gosh, are we playing 07? How unlucky can they get? This was the play they needed right there to get back in this thing. And my impact corner made the play. That's a play of the game right there. Right there. That's the play of the game. Golly. So we're on the 23. There's 27 seconds left. I'm going to take a knee on that one. I don't, we can't get down. The, our passing game is not good enough, so we'll just take a knee and head to the locker room and reevaluate. Get it down to a few seconds, we'll be done with it, and we'll head to the locker room and look at some stats and such. So, as bad as they've played, they're only down 11. 
I only stream on YouTube. There's really no point in me doing Twitch and YouTube. It's the, you know, biggest reason I don't like uh, Twitch is because it, you can't save your videos. They go away after a couple weeks and you have to go store them somewhere because I want people to watch my past stuff. So let's go to game stats. 140 to hour 68. That's the lowest yardage we've had in a half all season. I mean, that, we just couldn't do anything offensively. Their defense has done a really good job. The problem is they got three turnovers. That's the only reason why we're beating them right now. They are just playing awful football. But right, we'll take advantage of it as best we can. Let's look at our stats. So two for six for Jackson, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Running the ball, Briggs, I'm giving him the ball as much as I can. Jackson's got eight attempts, but he's got negative 15 yards. So our option game is not working really well. You go to receiving, of course, we don't do enough here to really make a difference. But you go to defense, Henry is leading in tackles, and he's our top corner. Tackles for loss, defensive end of Doug Williams. No sacks, and we got a couple interceptions by Walker. And, of course, McNeil, who just makes a big play every game, it feels like. So let's get back into it. Let's head into the third quarter. And we get the ball. I feel like we need to... Let me... Okay, they'll probably go 3-4 on us. So I'm going to try. This is probably a good time to do it. We'll try one of these sweep type plays. They usually do okay against the odd fronts. Let's see if that happens here. And a... Just, no. Just, we won't be calling that play again. Now, look what happened here. Came right on through and just wrecked that entire play. So, we won't be calling that. And that's not the way you want to start the, the half. So, just sloppy play by both teams. We'll come over here. See if they run to the strong side. Two, yeah, he just went to the opposite side. So just like that, they got their first touchdown of the day. So, so much for trying out that goofy around play or any of those sweeps, and they're just so glitchy, and I'd, it's really hard to get them to work. I can't update them just because the way the formations are built. I may be able to come up with something one day. 14 to 10. Let's get back on offense and try not to turn the ball over. Let's see if Hickson can help us out here. Somebody get a block or two for him. Get a block right there. Nope, nobody blocked him. We are on the right hash. I'm going to go basic dive. They're going to go 3-4 on it. But they always call, man, if they'd call zone, I could probably sneak through. But I'm going to run to the right. Weird. Oh, what happened? No, what's going on? What happened there? That's another glitch play. What what ha I don't I'm gonna have to write this down. Oh my gosh, twins halfback dive. It's just awful. Oh my gosh. We're falling apart. I, I'm starting to gosh, what I don't I don't get it. Let's go cover three from four two five now that our safety's back. Golly. Now I'm not going to call that play today. What's the point? <laughs> play action. He's wide open over there. Wide open. Good play design, Al. That's supposed to attack cover three and four, and that's what they did. I'm going to go cover one. Looks like they're going with a bigger set. We'll go over here. Intercept that. Oh, man, we could have used that. We could have used that. They're going goal line. Would it be a miracle if we can somehow hold them to a field goal here? Let's do this. Oh my gosh! Look how look at this little juke. Just enough. I thought I had him right here. Look, somehow I didn't tackle him. I just bounced right off of him. Man. We can uh, let's do a zone blitz. Let's just, I think they're going to score on us anyways, unless we can get lucky. I'll occupy this tackle. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that was so close. And our tight end, their tight end just destroyed my corner. We could have a clip. We'll take it. First and 17. Wow, that tight end something. I'm going to go back to 4 2 5. I'm going to do cover two this time, though. They said they're going one wide. And it looks like they are. Let's look. They got Ace Big in their format in their playbook. Ah, went the wrong way. Good tackle though. That makes it second and long. I'm gonna go zone. Can we get to him? Looks like they're going gun Ace. He threw it way too early, so it's third and long. So we're going to go cloud. And I'm going to try to go after him myself. We'll do this. I may bump into this tight end, slow him down a little. Intercept that. Intercept that. Intercept that, son. Take a knee. Huge play right there. That was huge. Somebody got a tee up on it. Who was it? You know who it was. It was number 20, our impact. He has had two deflections lead to interceptions, and he had that forced fumble. He has been our MVP of the day, and I think I'm going to get a thumbnail for him again. Oh, that's not going to be a really good one. But either way, I, I think we got one from him earlier. Oh, my gosh. MVP so far today. So let's go back to what we're good at. Let's run some option. Like, I really want to run up the gut. It's not really been working. Get up the field. Ugh, finally, finally pitched it. Get a first down with Briggs. And, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, golly. That would have been a good thumbnail, by the way. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen this animation. Weird. Well, I was going to go play action. And now I don't trust Arthur to make that throw. <laughs> I hate to say that. And it's his foot. Oh, my gosh. Just prayers up for... Up to get a block right there. Briggs, nice. Good block up the B gap. I'm going to go sting this time. I'm just going to do another basic handoff. We're going to run to the left. Get a few yards there. He's feeling it. Let's go basic option. They love spreading after a 3-4. I absolutely love it. We're going to go this way. Ah, another fumble! And we somehow got that. That was just weird. I couldn't pitch it in time. They came by so quickly. Should I have cut up the field? Did I have any way? I could, maybe. If I'd have known that, okay, I'm just going forward, I'm going to try my best to go up the middle, whether it's man or zone. Golly, we dodged another bullet. So it's third and seven. So what we're going to call, he's back. Jackson's back. And I just didn't now notice this. Jackson came back. I did not pay attention, but he is back. Oh, gosh. guess it wasn't serious. Let's flip it. Let's do a rollout, which hasn't worked very well today. I think we may have got one first down off of it. Ooh, watch it. Make a play, Briggs. Oh. I got to punt it. So now this game has turned into a defensive monster. Both teams are just shutting the other team out either due to turnovers or whatever. Eh, not the best punt in the world. At least he won't return it. We're going to get around the 20. Let's go cover two, man. Wow, what an entertaining game. They got a weird playbook. They got full house. They got a little gun, a little under center. Wow, great throw. Wow. Uh, so let's... I'm going to stay in man. I think they're going to run it. 
And they're going with the big set. If I was the yeah, but going to him. But there he goes. Hand, make a tackle. So I fixed the toss plays in this game. They work better. They're still not incredible, but they're better. We're going to try a zone blitz. Maybe we'll go play action. So the real Toledo is starting to show up. They're getting there. Again, if we didn't, if they didn't have all these turnovers, we'd be down by like two or three scores. They're really good. Get him, get him, get him. And they went QB draw again. Just really weird play call. I mean, they got good yards out of it. He got three. I'm going to... I think they're going to run it. Let's go back to man. We'll do something like this. I'm going to go off. Nice, Al. Good adjustment. That makes it, what, third and long. Let's go back to Cloud. It's been working pretty well for us today. We'll do something like this. This right tackle has done a good job on me so far. And they're, blocked, they're double teaming me. Ooh, he, I saw what happened here. This receiver up top, he threw it too late. He threw it way too late. So he's already cutting up field, and he was expecting him to stay over the sideline. So we're going to force a punt. Fourth and nine. Let's do, let's keep it, let's do middle fan. Let's keep it safe. Oh my gosh, what a game. So who's going to score next? I don't know. That's a tough question. That's a really good punt. That should go in the end zone, though. I'm going to go back to the run basic runs here. Oh, now they go 5-2. Well, that just don't make sense. Going 5-2 against my slot. We got more numbers on the right, so let's go over here. Just get a block or two. Good block right there. First down Briggs. I'm going to try play action now. We'll go back here. And they're going zone. If they go cover two, I'm going to try to hit Hickson. This isn't Jackson's best type of throw, but he may be able to zip it in right here. Cover two. Kill. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. And we get a holding on top of it. So it's first and 20. We keep going backwards. Well, uh, let's try basic option again. And they're going back to three or four zone. I may have to cut this one up. Uh, let's go to the this way instead. Wow, their defense is insane. Glad he broke the tackle there at least. But, man, look at this. There's always somebody in the backfield. Like, their defensive line is incredible. My center got annihilated. I'm, I was fortunate I was got the pitch off. So that makes it what? Second and seven? He's about to pass out. I'm afraid to run him again. And they're going 5-2. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go audible. We're going to go to our wide receiver play from this formation. Eh, almost glitched it. Go, Hickson. Six points. Break the game for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Incredible play. Great adjustment. That was an audible. The, get, the playback glitched on me. The quarterback just kind of stood there. Oh, my gosh. Hickson. Incredible. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to look at this in the next video when we do our offseason stud stuff. But he, yes, he is a, no, let me go back. He's a, yeah, a senior. That's what I was afraid of. All of my best players are seniors, except for a quarterback. He's a true freshman. But all of our playmakers, skill guys, will be gone next year. Huge play. Play the game so far. Now let's see if Toledo can come back and get that touchdown back. Let's kick this thing back off. 
Make good decisions, everybody. Get up the field. Nowhere to go there. A flag. Another. Wow, how many flat? Man, so many flags today. Just a sloppy game in general. Turnovers. Yellow flags. And they're going to pass it here. Almost got to him. Good throw. Not going to get anything out of it, though. And that is end of the third quarter. We're up 11. Can we finish strong? We're about to find out. I'm going to go after this guy. We're going to flip it. Intercept that. I just... That should have been a pick six. Oh, my gosh. Just... Third and long. I'm going to go cloud. He's 9 for 24 on the day. Just awful. Imagine they had Omar Jacobs. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, killer throw. So one throw, it's terrible. The next throw is you can't ask for a better one. Look at this. You couldn't put it in a better spot. Shoot. First down. I'm going to try. Let's go cover two man. We're going to do this. Stay to the off weak side. Good little throw. Going to get a first down there. So they're moving the chains. I'm going to go cover one. Looks like they're going back to ace big. Do something like this. Eh, let's shade over. Play action. Anybody open? That dude is. That makes us second and two. I'm going to try. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm going to try the zone blitz. The only decent one I like from 425. We're going to have to flip it back over. And good protect. Oh, he's wide open. What was that? Golly. We're not calling that again. Man, he was so wide open. That was dreadful. And just like that, they are on the verge of getting this back to a three-point game. Oh, man, that was a terrible defensive call on my part. I thought they was going goal line. Apparently not. They're going to pass it. Just that was just too easy. <laughs> t that's the best tight end I've faced in a long time. That dude just makes plays all the time. 21 to 18. Highly entertaining. This is what a conference title is supposed to look like. Two good teams like this. Let's we'll see if Hickson creates some magic. Oh, shoestring tackle. They got a good. Uh, um, Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go play action. Let's see if that'll fake him out. They're going man. Ooh, they're, oh, they're double teaming him. Ooh, that's... Ooh, watch out. I'm kind of glad he dropped it. That was just... Perfect defensive play call. Cover one. I can't get around that. They double team my main man beater. So let's see if we can make that up. What is a prestige dynasty? I don't understand what that means. Let's go over here. Get a block or two. Get a first down with Jackson. Keep a drive alive. So let's go dive. Let's attack that odd front. Uh, we'll go this way. Just not a lot there. I'm going to go triple. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'll do. Yeah, I'm not going to go after four-star kids if I'm just like a two-star program. So that's correct. 
Not open. Golly, their center. It, look, they did a defensive tackle. Look at this. My poor center. Golly, just got roached on that one. So it's third and eight. We're going to go vertical. No, I don't do TikTok. I don't. I don't do any of that. It's just pretty much YouTube. I got Twitter, but I don't really do nothing on it. That's more for my personal stuff. Oh, no. No. Ow. Short-armed it. I tried to get over his head. I tried to do a basic pass just enough, but that linebacker just came through and done that. We've done that a couple times today. He got his own tip, too. Golly. Wow. Well, so what I may do the next time we go with that, I may do the rollout instead. It's a little safer. Ow. So let's go outside blitz. So that's like turnover number seven on the day for both of these teams. Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. And we got another player hurt. Oh, wow. So you know this team is really good when they've had so many mistakes and they still can easily beat us. I mean, they're just that talented. I'm going to shade off to right here. Good open field tackle by McNeil. I'm going to go, we'll go back to the 4-3 a little bit. Just, I like that zone blitz a little bit better than when I had a nickel. And what I may do, don't run up the middle. I'm going to just do it myself. I don't have to. Somebody came through anyways. Number one, the other defensive end shaded right on through. Man, can we hold him to a field goal? We'll go cloud. Maybe we can get another tip drill. Watch out for the screen on this side. Tackle him. Sack. Sack. I guess nobody was open. I didn't see anybody open. But he had all day to throw. Just nobody was there. I mean, everybody shut down. Look at that. Tight end over there. Right there. He was covered by the safety. Just, again, nowhere to go. So we're going to force the field goal. Look at this. We got a two-minute drill coming up with a chance to win it. Tied. We may go to overtime. Or he'll shank the kick. I have a feeling he'll make it. Most CPU kickers do. And they're running clock. I halfway don't blame them. I'm not going to call a timeout on it either. Miss it. Nope. So here we go. Here we go. 21 all. Minute 44. Can I get it done? Just don't turn the ball over. Don't get it back to him before the game ends. We got all three timeouts. Let's go, Hickson. I know you can do something special for us. We'll have to cut up this way. Just know where to go there. We're going to go. I'm going to run it once, and then we may have to force the throw it the rest of the way. But I want to see if we can get a decent gain first. Because our best of our home run hitters this year have been with our run game. Just nothing. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. We'll break a tackle, son. Keep doing it. So it's first and 10. That could have been play of the game right there. Look at that. Just burnt. We're going to miss him so much next year. It's not even funny. I guess we'll go to our rollout play. And they call man on this all the time. It's like they're calling right now. Just don't blitz on me hard. I'm not really feeling that. I don't think he can get about eight yards there. Second and two. I feel like we got out of bounds. We should have. Let's go BB option. Yeah, so they're going zone. Yeah, we'll go this way. Ah, oh, man. My left guard, my left tackle got beat. If I would have pitched it right there, that would have been a fumble. That's why I didn't do that. 
third and one. Let's call a timeout. Let's think about it. So it's third and one. I'm going to go here. We'll just go basic dive. I think he can handle this. They're going 5 2. Oh my gosh. I just kind of want to give the ball my best player, you know? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I got it. <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I got it. Oh my gosh. So we got to hurry up here. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm afraid to throw at this point, so we're going to just run, see if we can get out of bounds and pick up whatever yards we can. Oh, this is... Oh, no! <laughs> what was that? Look at that. That's the word. He dropped it. I, he dropped it. He dropped it. I swear. He dropped it. My impact halfback dropped the pitch. Oh, just you couldn't ask for anything worse. Oh, my gosh. Second and nine. Uh, why even? I mean, I was going to lose yard. I mean, nobody was expecting him to drop it there. I mean, just. Oh, my gosh. That's the first time he's ever dropped a pitch all season. So what do you do? Oh, gosh. All right. We got to keep playing defense. And that's a flag. They may call it. Third and two. I'm going to... I'm going to go man on this one. I think they're going to run it. Maybe not. I'm going to go after him myself just in case they pass it. I think if I was them, I'd probably just run the ball. Timeout, first and 10. Oh, gosh. What a goofy game. Just We, we made too many mistakes. Oh, gosh. I'm going to try to occupy this guy. Get him, get him, get him. Second and five. And they're going to hurry this thing up. They may call something goofy here. They'll probably, like, run the ball. Play action. Golly, what a th I'm just going to let him, let him just, yeah, just let him get the touchdown. We got no choice. Just let him get the touchdown so we can get more time to try to get back and score. Oh, my gosh. I think he was going to score anyways. Golly. So 28 seconds. Can we get down the field and score? I don't – our passing game, this is not what we're good at offensively. This is the passing game. But we'll try it. Gosh, what a second-half blunder. i got to remind myself we're going up against a really good team. All right, Hickson, can you do it for us? No. I'm going to try, and he's about to pass out. We'll go vertical. Of course, they're going zone. Our interception was off this play right here just because the linebacker got a tip. And, and that's a terrible throw. That was an awful throw by Jackson. I don't know who he's throwing to there. I barely tapped the button, and he'd do a line drive. I'm trying to think of a play action and see Hickson's out now. So let me try. We'll try the rollout. They've been blitzing. At least they're going zone. I may be able to go a rollout here on a cover two. Something like this. Just cut up field, call a timeout. Option pass. No, that's the last thing I'd be doing. That just Those plays don't work very well. On the 14, I'm going to try. If if they can go, let's go PA roll right. Now they're going man. I, I dare them to go. If they go cover one, I still may go to Hickson. We'll see. Cover one. 
intercept, but that's just bad throw. He overshot it big time. So nine seconds. We're going to do a flip. I'm going to do our rollout play again because, there's again, there's really nothing else that we can do. We're going man. We're going to have to do like a Hail Mary after this play. Ooh, they're blitzing hard. Can you, I'm just letting them handle it. No. Nope. Just bad throw. They're going to get a pick six out of this. Golly. Just nobody was open. Just a terrible game. Golly, what a terrible game. How many turnovers were there in this game? So sloppy. No, this is, I'm running flex bone. This is the po whole point of this night is to run flex bone. Golly. Uh, just tough, tough, tough game. Well, the MAC championship has come to an end. Thanks for joining well, for that slows the build down a little bit, but that's probably for the best. I'd probably get some hate for winning the conference title out of the gate like that. But we went up against such an incredible team. So let's look at some stats. 248 to their 328. They just came out second half and played so much better. Our passing game is non-existent. I was kind of expecting that. Nine turnovers. I really hope I don't see a game like this again. If I do, I may go back to an older game. I've thought about playing this season, getting through it, and then go back to trying something else. I may go back to some older games where the impact player status just isn't involved because, golly, just nine turnovers? I hate games like this. These are the least fun games for me is to deal with that. But it is what it is. You know, what do you do? So individual stats, we got – let me go to Akron. So Jackson had a really bad game, by far his worst game of his little short career so far. Three of 13, no touchdowns, two interceptions. It, he doesn't have the best arm in the world. I kind of get that. But running the ball, it was a struggle. Briggs got some good yardage, you know, but two touchdowns. Hickson got a touchdown. But Jackson just on the ground could do nothing today. Man, it was bad. Receiving, of course, not much going to happen here. Defensively, Henry led in tackles. Never won a secondary got a lead in tackles. But several tackles for loss, a couple of sacks, several interceptions. But look at this, 24 points. They probably had 31 unanswered points. Is that is that correct? I think they have 31 unanswered points to end this thing. That's what good teams do. That's what senior-laden, excellent teams do. And they just took care of business on us. So that's just something we got to shoot for. Maybe we can win a conference title in the next coming season. So let's get out of here. And, yes, we are going to play the bowl game. I'm going to go two games tonight. We'll sim the week and all that good stuff. Yeah, Nordic. Well, I plan on doing the, hopefully the off season stuff will be maybe Sunday. We'll see. Congratulations. We are going to the GMAC Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. We're going to take on Marshall, the Thundering Herd. And look who. So their halfback, this is the other goofy thing. Their halfback wins the Heisman and didn't really do much in our game. But it was so turnover laden. It, the whole stats just didn't really mean a whole lot other than that one big stat, which was the turnovers. But there he is. He wins that award. I do not want to save it just yet. We're going to look at the championship game. So LSU, Oklahoma, NC State or Virginia Tech, and UTEP. So that tells me when you go over to Sports Illustrated, you go to bowl rankings. Or you could go, well, I'll show you right here. What we actually need to do, let me go ahead and just save this while we're here. And what I'll probably do, we're going to look at a few different things. And before we play the bowl game, I'm going to take just like a little five-minute break and go use the restroom and get some water and such. And we'll try to finish this thing, season out with a high note. Sim a couple things here. Go to settings. I'm working on another new, new thing for the store. Working on some Dynasty files I think people will enjoy. That's all I'm going to say about those for now, but I'm going to start working on those. Always adding, creating content, doing what I can to help help the brand out and help people out. So let's go back to Sports Illustrated. Let's look at some things. So bowl rankings, it ended up being with LSU, Michigan State, going to play in the national title game apparently. Texas, Oklahoma, and Ohio State in Toledo. Top 25 polls. Uh, nobody really cares about that anymore. Let's go. We already looked at the Heisman thing. Award winners. We can look at these. 
Omar Jacobs. So it was a Mac season. Omar Jacobs wins the Maxwell Award. The McNair goes to an Oklahoma kid. Jacobs wins the quarterback award. Walker Ward goes to Trinity Dawson from Toledo. Wide receiver. Looks like Oklahoma had a really good season. Hawaii, look at that. Hawaii tight end wins that award. And then you go, uh, who would have thought that? Offensive line, Virginia Tech, Lyman, Ohio State uh, player won the center award. Lombardi goes to a kid out of Florida. Iowa, best linebacker award. Thorpe Award, ECU. So a lot of group of five kids are winning some awards. Look at that. Another Oklahoma kid winning an award. LSU punter, one in. It's a best returner, Boston College kid. Best coach, Toledo, which I understand. I mean, they had they went undefeated, just had a great season. But look at there. We at least finished in the top ten of the coach awards. That's pretty cool. Let's go to All-Americans. Briggs is a first-team All-American. Good to see that. He ended up close to 2,000 yards, ended up with 25 total touchdowns, and we still got one more game left to play. I'm just going to quickly go through. I'm not looking at these too hard other than do we have anybody else on these lists. Let's go to second team. I figure Hicks may have a chance to get on here, but I don't see it. Let's look at the freshman All-Americans. It'd be cool if Jackson would have made it, but he didn't play enough games. He only played like the last four or five of the season. And he didn't have enough touchdowns to forbid the matter. So we got Briggs. He's our lone All-American. If you go to the All-Mac, we should have a few guys on here, I would think. So we got Briggs on first team. We have Paris McNeil, well-deserving. At least he should be back next year. 36 tackles, two sacks, seven interceptions. Just a great season. Our kicker, Jason Swiger. But guess what? He's a senior. He'll be gone. You can go to second team, wide receiver, Dominic Hickson. Good to see that, which ain't bad. But look at the all-purpose yards. Half of that, I guess, is rushing. The other half is receiving. Some of it's, I guess, a little bit of the punt returns he's been doing. A lot of, I guess, he had quite a few quick returns as well. Free safety, Deion Ellie made that list. Pretty cool. Uh, problem is, he's a senior. <laughs> I mean, we got so many seniors on this team. It's both... Uh, Scary and cool to say that our seniors are really stepped up this year. Let's go to bowl games. I only really want to see like the bottom ones, the more important ones. Uh, like Sugar Bowl, Callen, Texas, Pitt and Oklahoma, the Fiesta Bowl, Ohio State, NC State, and the Orange. In the Rose Bowl, we got Michigan State and LSU. Players of the week nationally. Uh, this is the conference title week, I guess. Halfback, Chris Johnson, about remembers him. Played for the Titans back then. Uh, several years back, and Toledo defensive tackle. I agree. This kid right here was their MVP. How many times did I say in our game, man, our center's getting killed. Man, our center's getting killed. Look what he did. Six tackles, three tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. I'm here to tell you, that 3-4 defense, if you got a really good defensive tackle going up against a weak center like we got, well, no wonder. But just caduce to him. He played really well. Conference standings, this is the final. We finished second in the conference. A great season for us. I'm really pleased with what we started off with. Uh, you look at our team info screen. We don't have any injuries. Jackson, Briggs, Hickson, Roar, Williams, McNeil. Those have been our main studs all season. Let's go over to Conference USA and look at Marshall. They won their conference, at least, or at least they won their division. Looks like UTEP won it. Let's go to Marshall right here. They don't have any injuries. Their quarterback's putting up good numbers. Running the ball, not so much. Receiving, kind of there. They got one guy leading in tackles and in interceptions. And that's who we have next. We'll go over here, and we'll go to the team schedule. And you just look here. Uh, actually, before we preview this, let me go take a really quick break, and I'll be right back.
All righty, boys and girls, I'm back. That was quick. Had to go get some water and do some other water type things. Fixing to play our bowl game. Going to take on Marshall. Should be an interesting one. So let's go ahead and get into that. They are seven and four. I think they run a spread offense. We got a little bit more talent than they do. They don't run the ball well. They throw the ball pretty well. Their defense is kind of average. So I think we can just go ahead into the game. There's nothing else for us to see. We just went through all the offseason or the uh, postseason type stuff where we kind of looked at, you know, all the magazine and everything. So I think we can go ahead and head into the game. Let's look at their uniform. That's their go-to. They got an alternate. Oh, really cool alternate. We're the road team. They would not use that in a bowl game, so let's just go with their default. So that's what we'll do. Am I excited for the new NCAA game? I guess. I mean, my expectations are super low for it. It's an EA Sports. They don't know how to make good football games anymore, so I'm expecting it to be pretty much a Madden clone gameplay-wise, and that's what really matters is the gameplay. But they could surprise me. They could put out a solid game. We'll see. So it's been a while since i played in this stadium, and I think this is bowl exclusive. Welcome in, William. Heavy rain. So, yes, this is a bowl stadium. Because this doesn't look familiar. So this is cool. It's different. The regular season is over. We're going bowling. And here, and here come the Marshall Thundering Herd. Again, seven and four. And here come our nine and three Akron Zips. They're going to highlight Briggs. First, he's leading the country in yards and in touchdowns. Really cool to see that. Cool to see our flex bone do that because our flex bone is really not meant to give the ball to one guy, but we kind of forced it this year. Let's see if we can get to the coin toss and go from there. We want it. I want the ball to start a second half. Heavy, heavy win. Look at that. It is super heavy on the win. Let's check out the roster. Actually, let's check out our team first really quickly. This is the last time our seniors are going to play. So let's just talk about that. So Carlton Jackson, he's a freshman. We don't have to worry about that. And Arthur, he's a sophomore. Both of them should be back. But Briggs will be gone. Ringer will be gone. Our two A-backs are gone next year. I mean, what do you do? Oh, it's just going to be tough. But we did get one to commit already. Fullback, Spalding. Hasn't got to do a whole lot. He's not a runner. That's why I haven't given him the ball much this year. And what a few times he has, he'll probably fumble it. So it just wasn't worth it. But guess what? He's a senior. Wide receiver, Montgomery, senior. Hickson, senior. It's just all of our skill players are gone. Uh, we don't do anything with a tight end. They block for us. But look at the offensive line. we got a junior. we got a junior, 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 and a senior. So we're going to lose one offensive line starter. But we need to beef up this group in the worst way. And they don't look too terrible. Like, look, our center's like an 80 overall. But he's been getting pushed so much this year. You look at our defense. we got a freshman and another freshman which is a positive, I guess, something to build on, but a senior and a senior up the middle, and we run a 4-2-5. We run four down front pretty much the entire time. So linebackers, you got a senior, you got a senior, and you got a junior, McNeil. Please don't go pro early, McNeil. We need you next year. Corner, he's out for the year. But that's one positive thing. Our strong safety is back. He played the second half of the last game in the conference title game against Toledo, but he's a junior. Henry, hopefully we'll be back. Somebody mentioned that earlier. He's like our lone great player that's a junior besides McNeil. Free safety, Ellie, second team all-conference, senior. Strong safety, Pace, and Ned is another starter, senior. He's gone. So we're going to have to replace him next year. Senior kicker, senior punter. How many punt or seniors do we just name? 14 or so? Way more than, I mean, just we got to go all in on recruiting next year. It is what it is, but that's going to be a lot of fun, though. Once we head into the offseason. All right, let's check out Marshall. Starting quarterback, Bernard Morris. He's a bit of a runner. He's balanced, but 78 speed. Let's see if he uses that or not. They don't have any impact guys at halfback, which is nice. 82, 80, and 78. Nothing at fullback. It's all about receivers. He got 80 and they got a 78 impact guy. He's really big. Look at this. He's a true freshman and he's an impact player. That's just pretty cool. Been 82 right here, 74. So a decent group of receivers. 
a decent tight end, but he's really slow, so I'm not really worried about him. They have an impact left tackle. This is super rare. The game normally doesn't do this, but somehow it did it for them. That actually should help us, you would think. That's one less impact skill player that can get the ball and make touchdowns at least. 85 at guard and 72, 78, and 82. So their offensive line is really good, I guess, for the for their conference. I don't know what defense they run, but 80 and 76 on the edge, 80 and 80 up the middle. 85, 78, and 76. Look at their corners. Impact guy, 88 overall, 85 there, and 78. Really good top three guys. Free safety, okay, at 80 overall, and 80 overall at strong safety. So both of their starting safeties are like the exact same player. Okay, kicker, and a terrible punter. All right, final game of the season. Let's see if we can finish the season on a high note. Really cool looking stadium. I like it. That's a good kick out of the gate. Of course, we got the wind toward our backs. I think they're going to throw a lot today because of where their impact guys are at. So we're going to play a lot of zone. They're going to spread us out, starting out. I may bump and run this kid right here. Play action. Ah, ow. I could play the whiff that one. They're going to get a first down there. That's their true freshman impact receiver. No, he's not Randy Moss. He kind of looks like him. He's big. I don't think he had the speed, though. Let's go back to quarters. We'll do some. Oop, no, we'll go this instead. Good tackle, but he's going to pick up five yards. Good blocking. That's how you're supposed to run the roster, the uh, screenplay. Let's go 4 2 5. I'm going to go cover two man. I think they may run it here. We'll do this. Going ace big twins. So they're not going to get a first. That's going to be what? Third and two? Third and three. Ugh, I'm going to take the chance that they're going to pass it, so we'll go cloud. It's third down and three to go. So that's what we'll try. But they're going in that direction. They got the tight end on that side. And they're going basic run. And he didn't get it. <laughs> he didn't get it, which is fine. A weird play. Somehow, some way, he did not get a first down. I thought he was going to sneak right there, cut up the field, but he kept getting stuck on his own teammate. And we stopped him right there. And we had an inadvertent tackle. Right, Just a really weird play. But at least we're going to get a stop. So that's a good start. Let's see if we can get on offense and get our first touchdown of the day. I like to see a shanked punt to the right. That'd be nice. Nope, ended up being a really good punt. Somebody get a block or two on the right. Took forever to get down the field. That was a killer punt. Please don't run a 3-4. We've had a hard time with that. Uh, let me fix a couple of these. Do that. Do that. Let me just get these. Just make sure all those adjustments are ready to go. So let's start with basic option first. And we're going nickel. Uh, we're going to go to the left. Hi. Ah. Look, what, what did I just say? Look at that. Both my center and my guard just could not handle that defensive tackle. How do you, I, I don't know how to handle that. I, I don't know how to tell my center to quit doing that. <laughs> um, ah, just frustrating. And my, again, my center's like an 80 overall, so he's not like supposed to be terrible. Just weird. I don't know. Okay, let's go triple. Do something like this. Get to the outside. Go ringer. Go ringer. That's a block in the back. They didn't call it. So we got out of that jam. Big play right there. Uh, first and 10. I'm going to go back to basic option, but I'm going... Okay. I was thinking about audible into the receiver play, but we don't have to. Shifting hard that way. We're going to run to the right. But look who is right on top of my center. Look at that. He was able to get around him. 
great shift. Look at that defensive tackle. He almost made the tackle right there. Oh, my gosh. So where are we? It is second and one. I'm going to take the chance on a play action play. This may be a perfect time to do it. Now they're going man. I got, please go cover zero. Cover zero. Get it, Hickson. Oh, that's intercepted. Overshot it. Thankfully, the guy didn't attempt to intercept it. So it's third and one. I'm going to go basic dive. Can we just hand the ball to Briggs for a first down? Uh, let's go to the left. Just enough. Whew. Barely. Let's go triple. Keep the drive alive. Uh, we'll go... We'll go to the right. Nothing up... Wow. My centers and guards are just getting an annihilate. Look at this blitz coming through right there. I had no chance. I could have given the ball to my B-back. He would have got stuffed. Just perfect defense. Uh, we can try basic option again. I'd love to go to the left. We're going to try that. Get up field like that. Get up field like that. Jack seems going to get caught. I'm going to pitch it. Get a few extra yards. So my tackle, or I think it was my tight end, got pushed back big time. Forced me to cut up field. Pitch it, get a few extra yards. And we're going to get a first down. We need a touchdown on this drive. So I'm going to do a basic handoff. Hopefully we can handle that. But they, this hard shift, it makes me wonder. I'm going to clear up some room. Let's go to the left. Get a block or two. Six points. So that's a good start. We had a good start in the last game, too, and it didn't really help us out, but that was just a good play there. Good adjustment. Now, this is the GMAC Bowl, but they're calling it something else. We got a different logo. I'm using the Next Texture Pack. It's not the newest one, but it's one of the... It's not super old, either. And he hits the PAT. Less than two to go. Let's get back on offense, or on defense. Nordic, I do not expect the FCF teams to be in there. I'd be shocked if they put them in there. In fact, I actually would care. I don't care if it's in there, if they are. I just wish they make solid gameplay choices. That's a face mask, and they can call it. Just get the gameplay right. It shouldn't be too difficult, but I just we will see if they do that or not. So I'm going to do his own blitz. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to try to occupy this tackle. Nope, he picked up the blitz. Oh, almost got to him. Oh, what a throw. What in the world, what a throw that was. Golly, what a play. He got hit when he threw it. But their impact receiver just made a killer play. Let's go back to 4 2 5. I'm going to go man on this one. So their quarterback's off to a pretty good start. Playing a whole lot better than Toledo's. At least for now. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Thankfully, he overshot it just enough. I'm. Nope, I'm not going to do it. We're going to go cover three. I'm going to do this. We're going to do an over front. Going a slot. Morris. There he goes. Make a tackle, somebody. Oof. So that's his first time scrambling, and it's third and nine. I'm going to go cloud. And they're going ace big. It's going to be hard to get after this guy from this angle. Off the back foot. Great stop. Number 42 got a hand on it. And they're going to punt from the 37. We're going to do middle fan. Don't do anything crazy down here. Just get a safe 
return or just kick that thing in the end zone one or the other. Everybody get out of the way. Ooh, look at that kick. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Somebody was trying to go after the ball, you idiot. Gosh. Okay, middle of the field. Let's go triple. We'll go from normal. And they're spreading everybody out. I'm going to go to the left this time. Oh, what was that? What was that? I couldn't do the dive. And he pitched it with his offhand again. Oh, my gosh. Second and forever. Oh, that was a terrible play. Don't pitch it with your offhand. All right, they're going zone. I'm going to try to do play action. They're going cover three. We'll go. Our poor receiver, Montgomery, he was wide open, too. Look at this. That's my cover three beater. So it's third and forever. I'm going to try the rollout. And they're blitzing off that side. Or they're doing that. Uh, cover one. Oh, that's intercept. That was dumb. <laughs> I forgot we had Montgomery over there. Now we got a lineman down. That's just a Hail Mary goofball play that I do not recommend that you throw. Oh, my gosh. Welcome in, Twister. Glad you got the notification. What I'm going to do is go back and look at this is what we need to look at. So no, they they done a good job. They always like to do Whenever they go man on third down, they always do a good job of throwing a spy play at you. And that's what they've done here. They had a spy right there. They had at least one. So I really can't run. I probably could have. Either way, I, I do not make this mistake. Right there. Just to, it, We're outnumbered, but we just got lucky. Just whatever. <laughs> whatever. Let's try. Basic option. I'm going to go with our wide receiver run play. I'm going to audible. Ooh, no, I love that shift. We're going to stick with this. Get up the field. Get up the field. Get up the field. Ah, pitch it. I I'm hitting the button and you're pitching. Second and one. We'll go sting. I think that's going to, we're not going to be able to call it. And they're going 5 2. We're going to let that one go. All right, end of the first quarter. We're up a touchdown. We're driving. So, yeah, the plan is I'm going to just notify everybody in the community post that, hey, the stream is over with. That was my biggest concern. I think people who don't come into the stream ain't going to really watch it afterwards. It just, I don't know. But I'm going to notify everybody that it's done at least. That way they'll know. Instead of having to like re-upload and split play or split videos, I'm just not going to do that. Hopefully all that made sense. So let's go triple. I'd love to run to the left. I love that. We're going to go here. Cut up the field. Man, I thought he was... Mm, I read it correctly, but my guard just couldn't get out of the way. Uh, let's go... Back to basic option. That offhand pitching, I don't know. I think it's all angles and such. But just really weird. I don't like it. <laughs> that offhand pitch and just rubs me the wrong way. Get up field. I'm just going to take it with Jackson. Just, yep. Let's get a first down. Next thing I want to try. We'll do triple from slot. And they're spreading out. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, I read it wrong. Dang it, Al. I read it wrong. Look at that. Oh, I should have read the safety right here. He was crashing down. I should have handed the ball off. That was six points right there with Briggs. That's how you learn. My fault. That's probably who I should have read to begin with. All right. So let's get back to basic option. Ugh, that's the worst shift possible right there. We'll go. And of course, my center gets killed again. Look at this. My guard got killed. I, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> That's why I got to find the strongest, biggest offensive lineman possible that can handle those plays. So it's third and 13. I do not want to have an interception. 
So I just think I'm going to run the ball, and we'll just try to pick up our points. Unless we can get a first down from running it, which is possible, I guess. So we'll just go over here and cut up field. Nope. Just good defense. So we'll kick the field goal. Good defense across the board. Let's see if I can make this. Off Well, it's still going to be fourth down. That's going to be fourth and six. We'll go here. His strength and run block rating. We can go check that. So by, he's our by far our best center. So I had no choice but to, you know. But his strength is, you know, at 86. That's solid. That's not bad. And his run block is an 86. That's not bad. But height and weight matters. So it'd be nice if he was heavier. But again, I just don't know. I just don't know if those plays in general, it, the center and the guard just aren't communicating well. It just, I don't get it. But it's happened so much this year where my center just gets obliterated. And I missed this kick. Ow, ow, ow. I hit the button too late. I'm sorry. Just bad play. So we're still stuck at seven to nothing. I'm doing an over front. Let's see what they do here. Get open field tackle. And they get five yards from that completion. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try quarters from four two five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the twenty five yard line. The herd come out in the shot. I'll control the backside defensive end. Wide open over there, first down. Let's try cover three again. I think they're, again, throwing more. Yeah, I think they're throwing more than they're passing. So I'll stick with my zones. Maybe we can force a pick here in a minute. That true freshman's really good. That's his, what, third catch already? Second and five. They're going with a bigger set here. I'm going to go cover two, man. We'll do this. He's got all day to throw, but good tackle. That's going to make it what? Third and five. I will, I'm going to control the defensive end, but it wouldn't shock me if he tried to go out for it as well on a scramble. Whoa, we will take it, and we got to take advantage of it too. He threw it right to Jay Roar. He was just sitting there waiting on it. He was going to the little hitch, and he just missed it. So I'm going to do a basic run. We just need to give the ball to our best player at the moment, and this is the easiest way to do it. We're going to have to run to the right. Ah, that's a, that glitch play. I forgot, and we're going to get lucky here. He didn't hand the ball off. I don't know why that's not working anymore. Or maybe because when it's if you flip it, see the play's supposed to go to this side, and I flip the run direction, but maybe that just doesn't work with that play. That's something I'll have to fool with. I got it written down. We're very fortunate that wasn't a turnover. I forgot that was the bad glitch play. We're gonna do basic option here. We're gonna go to the left. Get up field. Just enough. Huh. Barely got it in. Just enough. I thought I was going to be able to run it in with Jackson, but I think we was going to get caught. Good play by Briggs. Even better pitch and correct pitch by Jackson. So we're up two scores. They got a minute and a half before the half. Can they get some points before we head to the locker room? And I, I turned my volume up, the game volume. I hope it sounds okay. As, I, as long as you can hear a little bit of it, I don't want it to override my voice. But Let's get on defense. Let's see if we can get another stop. So our defense as a whole, we're, you, we can't ask for anything better. We've only given up zero points. So there's really no complaint in there. Make a stop somebody. 
decent return. They're on the 33. They're going four wide. We'll go quarters out of nickel. We'll do something like this. I got the impact receiver on my side. At least he didn't break too many tackles there. Second and four. They're calling a timeout. Thanks, Lavares. Uh, second and four. I'm going to go back to 4-2-5. Not 3-3-5. Let's go cover three. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 39 yard line. I'm going to do an over front. We're going gun bunch. Maybe I can bump and run somebody down here. Nope. He's going to run. Somebody get him. Nice. Huge play. Third. I'm calling a timeout on that one. Ooh, that may have been a mistake. Well, we'll see. We'll go. If they convert this one, then yeah, that would be a mistake. But I want to try to reserve some time. I'd like to try to score before the half. I'm going to go after him myself. And i got to be careful. He can run with it. He's already tried twice. I forced the bad throw. I think he got spooked. Fourth and eight, and we don't have to waste another timeout, which is great. So we're going to get the ball back. The problem is our passing game is awful. <laughs> it's just it's just the, it's the flex bump. We just don't have a quarterback that can really just hit those throws, not in and not out. Not on a – I'm going to have to fair catch that one. So let's go and try. I'll do the rollout play first. And that's something I can work on in the offseason. Is just work on more pass plays. Now they're double teaming him. That doesn't help things. I might have Ringer do that just in case. They're going cover zero. And I got sacked. And Jackson's hurt. <laughs> Jeez. That was all kinds of terrible. Just good blitz and somebody came through. Nobody picked this guy up right here. He tried. No, that's not him. Somebody else came through. My right guard got beat. I just didn't throw the ball in time, but they stopped me in general. Let's go basic option. Second and long. Ball on their own 14. I'm going to stick with this. I was going to go to my wide receiver play, but I'm going to run clock. Because they're going to call a timeout on me after this play right here. We'll just get it down to a few seconds, then we'll go ahead and snap it. Get up the field. Get up the field. Get up the field. Get up the field. Get a first down, Arthur. First and ten. I'm going to see if he can handle. No, we're not. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. I think he can do okay. Let's do this play action. And they're going, man. This worries me. Uh, unless they go cover zero. Nope, I'm just going to run. Watch out. Nobody's open. I'm just going to run it. We'll get out of bounds. And Arthur's hurt. <laughs> We're out of quarterbacks. We got nobody left. So it's second and one. And the clock has stopped. So our third string quarterback is out there. Oh, jeez. What a nightmare. Thank the Lord this is the last season or last game of the season. Now you see why I won 100 different quarterbacks on my team because they're just going to keep getting hurt. Because they get hit all the time. Let's get a first down. I'm not. I'm, I'm afraid to do anything at this point. We may do a Hail Mary on the last play, but I'm just going to hand the ball off like one more time. We'll call a timeout, then we'll throw like a deep ball and see if we can get a Hail Mary play. So down to QB3. Let's see if old Getty can create some magic force on this last play after we get this one done. Get up the field. Get up the field. Get up the field. We'll call a timeout. So he broke the all time record at the school. I, I thought I called a timeout. There we go. I think you I, I, go back and look. I think that was the all time record. So uh, we're on the eight or we're, it's eight seconds to go. I guess I got no choice but to go Hail Mary. So I'm going to do the halfback one just because we got the lone halfback there. Uh, and they're, I think they're going man. Uh, we'll do something like this. They went cover zero. Oh, this may be a bad throw, though. <laughs> call timeout. Call timeout. <laughs> oh, geez. So we got one second left. 
You go back and look at this. Oh my gosh, they went cover zero. What a bunch of idiots. And I went to my best receiver and it got tipped a little. Look, it bounced off of him. Oh, geez, what a killer play. We're going to miss him so much next year. So we call the timeout. Let's just kick the field goal. I'm not going to try to get in. Let's just get our points and move on. I'm okay with that. We're already up two scores. I'd rather be up three scores than two. Oh, no. I <laughs> about missed it. <laughs> I hit the button too early. But we're up 17 to nothing. That was a weird half, a weird ending. So let's go to stats. 261 to their 73. We're obviously playing way better than they are. We're running the ball pretty well. Our passing game, you know, it, it is what it is. We're doing a good job on third down. They are not. And they had the one turnover. And I'm trying to remember if we took advantage of it. So this is the Lending Tree Bowl, apparently. Not the GMAC Bowl. But let's look at our stats. So actually, when you look at the injury report, let's go to in-game strategy. So Jackson's out for the rest of the game. Arthur's okay, but Jackson's gone. So Jackson, his season is over with, but he will be our starter next year. Hate to see that, but let's go back to stats. Let's go to the individual. So Getsy's one for one, 37 yards. Jackson's one for three, but he's out. Running the ball. Briggs already has almost 100 yards, got two touchdowns. Ringer, Arthur, Jackson, so on and so forth. Receiving. Two receptions, two deep balls, more or less. You go to defense. McNeil is leading in tackles with Gonzalez. You go to tackles for loss. We got a couple, White and Walker. White Walker, oh my gosh, Game of Thrones, yeah. Sacks, one. And interceptions, one. And that was Jay Roar, I guess, the play of the game so far. All right, let's head to the third quarter. Marshall will be kicking off to start the second half. Let's go right down the field and score a touchdown. How about that? Dan Quinn, it, no, he's the new head coach for the Commanders of Washington. Uh, I'm going to try. We're going to do a basic option, but if they go man, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go to my wide receiver play. We're going to do an audible. Oh, that shift is terrible. Uh, that didn't help things. That didn't help things. It ain't going to matter. Okay, let's just go ahead and call it. Good release. Good job, everybody. We're trying to get around these guys, get a first down with Hickson. Good play there. We're going to stay here. I'm going to go basic sting. I'd love to run to the left. Uh, I guess we're going to have to run to the right. I'm going to get rid of this impact guy, though. Help us out a little bit. Just nothing there. Guy stood right on up. Made the tackle. Second and ten. I may just stay in this formation. We can try basic option. It's second down and ten to go. I may have to go back to the right. Yes, heavy shift. Let's go ahead and snap that. Get a block or two. Kind of ran out of room there, so that's what, third and six. I'm going to flip these receivers. I'm going to go AB corners. I wish they would. So they're going zone. I'm pretty sure Arthur cannot hit that backside post. I'm pretty positive he can't. Ooh, they're blitzing hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody right. Wide open. Boom. He made the catch. Great. Good job, Arthur. So we hit him with a cover two zone beater with the scissors concept, leaving Ringer wide open. And Arthur made a good throw. Who would have thunk it? So let's bring him back. Let's go here. And I'm going to go triple. I probably just need to hand the ball off. Jackson. Oh, Arthur's out there. Yeah, I figure he's kind of gas at the moment. Oops, I went the wrong way. I was, I didn't, forgot to flip it. Well, luckily we got the one yard. It's second and nine. I'm going to do a basic handoff again. Then we'll figure out what to do on third. We'll go to the right. That's fine. Get a block. There we go. Let's get a touchdown. Get a touchdown. Oh. So close. 
I think Briggs deserves this touchdown, so let's go and do that. Let's do a dive first. So it's a completely dominant game, as you can tell. Both of my center and my guard. Look at my center and my right guard. Look at all three of these guys. That's how hard it is to run the ball. If these three guys can't do their job blocking, you got no chance running the ball. And all three of them just got annihilated on that play. Almost got the touchdown somehow due to Briggs being so good. Let's try. Let's do a B-back or a B-gap run. I'll probably go to the right because we got one extra body to, work, to block for us. There we go. So good to see Briggs get in the end zone one, pretty maybe the last time of his career here. He's been so good for us. He's been our MVP all season. I almost want to give the Jackson because he just kind of gave us new life when he stepped in. But Briggs has been our go-to guy all year. Hickson's had a great season for us, and we're going to check those stats. I always like to do that. Right before we actually get into the offseason, I like to look at my best players and see what they've done. But it's been the Briggs show pretty much all year. We can't thank him enough, and he won't be able to. Uh, we won't be able to replace him next year. There's no prospect out there that can refill those shoes. And then Ranger will be gone, so our backfield's going to look so new next year, especially at the A backs, and I guess B back too. We'll figure it out. Yes, you do know if they get if, if if they get drafted. I don't know about that. Make a tackle. But yes, they do say they declare for the draft. It's it's in the off season. You'll see that in the next video. Oh, let's do quarters. We'll do this. I'm gonna do an over front. Wide open. Wow. Quit leaving that guy wide open. That kid's a stud. The thing, he's just a freshman. And little Randy Moss. Good play. Good throw. So they're doing that. We'll go cover one on him. Make a tackle. Good job. Nowhere to go there. So that's what? Second and 11. Now they're going back to four wide. I'm going to go quarters. As many as I can get, Lavers. You can't have too many. I mean, our offense is so backfield dependent. We just need as many good ones as we can get for our restrictions, of course, for what we talked about earlier. We're, I'm going to have a, you know, I'm going to try to keep the prestige honest and realistic when it comes to recruiting. So let's get after this cat. I'm going to go to the outside on this tackle. Spin. Get him, get him, get him off the back foot. Somebody make a play except for that receiver. Good job, everybody. Let's ooh, watch out. So something had to give there. That's their second. What, that's their second turnover of the day? He threw it off the back foot, so I knew we had a chance. And he was triple covered. Of course, it took forever to get down there, too. So where are we? We're kind of like in the middle of the field. We're on the left hash. Uh, let's go. Let's go basic option. And if the shift is good, I'll stick with it. It's not good. So I'm going to attempt the wide receiver playing that made it worse. Uh, okay, we'll just stick with it. And that was my fear. And you can't hand it off to the B-back either. I wish you could. Uh, we'll go back to basic option. Ooh, that's a terrible shift. I mean, caduce to them, but we're going to go. We'll do this. Nobody. You got to pitch it, Arthur. I'm, I'm hitting the button. And he just. Uh, third and 16. I'm going to give him a chance. I think we're going to win the game. I know it's not over with, but I'm going to give him a chance with vertical. Can he make this throw to Hickson? It may be my best interest to just. Face a fourth down and move on, but let's go ahead and try it. Cover two. Terrible throw. He caught it. Man, he I thought that safety was going to come over and intercept that. 
Like he really overshot it there. Look at my receiver. Look at him zoom in over there. I, good job, Arthur. I guess I can't complain on that one. That's probably his best throw of the season. I'm going to go counter. I haven't called this play in forever. Let's go counter. We're going dime. Uh, let's go to the right. Get a block right there. Ah, it's just not fast enough. So that's another thing we need. Our, and he, he played B-back right on that play. But we need super fast A-backs. We already got one committed. He runs a 4-3-9, so he's not... I need faster than that. But I can't be too picky when we're at Akron. Cover two. Terrible throw. <laughs> that was He was wide open, too. That's my cover two zone beater. Wide open. That could have been six points, and he whiffed at ten yards. Whew, that was rough. So where are we? Third and forever. I'm going to flip these guys again. I hit the button too many times. We'll go back to AB corners, and we're going man. And I guarantee you they will have a spy somewhere. Ooh, there's not a spy. We're going to run it. They didn't call a spy. Ooh, get out of bounds. Good little nifty play by Arthur. First down. I think I'll leave Hickson over there on the left. Let's just run the ball. Let's give Arthur a break. Let's just hand the ball off. I'm going to run to the right. They're not shifting super hard over there. Ah, oh, my right guard. Poor right guard. Look at that. Brr. That's another reason why I'm not boosting up sliders for the CPU or for it. Just when you got plays like that, what's the point? The, I think the offensive line play, or the line play in general, is pretty solid for both teams. Pretty realistic, I feel like. Let's go basic option, trying to make up that blunder of a play. That's a great shift that under front. I'm going to run to the right, though. Yeah, going to have to pitch it. Terrible pitch. Terrible pitch, Arthur. He was fixing it, hitting the backfield. He should have been able to get an easy pitch right here. And the animation got stuck. Look, he's not even getting touched by that defender. But he had a bad pitch. So that makes it, what, third and forever? That's the end of the third quarter. I'm going to let that clock roll. Third and forever. We'll probably go back to that vertical play. We'll go here. Convert. I wish they'd go man on this every so often. Okay, they're going man. I'd love to hit this corner route. Now, I don't know if he can make that throw. But if they go cover one, which looks like they may, either that or cover zero, I'm going to go to him. And they are going cover one. Hit that corner, son. Hit that corner. Hit that corner route. Boom. First down. Arthur made up for it. Great throw. One of my favorite routes in the game, the corner route. It's a tough throw to make, but it's a satisfying throw. Great play. Let's go triple. This drive is taking forever. It seems like we're having to convert four third downs just to get down the field. Uh, we're going to go to the right on this one. Let's see if I can read this defender right. Yep, read it right. Oh, just no blocking. So I read it correctly. This linebacker just kind of stood still, leaving a little supposed hole right there. But even my right guard got a push, but... Got beat right there on the last second. So that makes it, what, second and eight? I'm going to try. Let's go triple from here. They're going zone. I want to get Briggs going, so we're going to use him right there. Just don't fumble it. That makes it, what, third and five? I'm going to go basic option. Definitely consistently inconsistent, for sure. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Oh, just, I had to. I was fixing to get hit with the quarterback. Look at this. I was So I just threw it early. Nah, just a good defensive play. Fourth and nine. We'll kick the field goal. Yeah, I don't mind plays like that. I, uh, 
I remember, if anybody remembers on the old Operation Sport, how did he miss that? You gotta be kidding. How did I miss that? I back out. I missed it? I missed that? I missed it. Oh my gosh. How in the world can I miss that? Oh, that's terrible. It, oh, I forgot the wind. I completely forgot this wind is all over the place. I did not factor that in. I'm sorry. That I feel like that was my fault. I did not pay attention to the wind whatsoever. So anyway, what I was saying, Dr. Death on Operation Sports, I don't think he's around anymore, but he had a really cool... Intercept that. Oh, he had a really cool offense. It was pretty much five wide offense all the time, but he just threw. But the whole point of it was to, like, get three yards every play. If you could get more, that's cool. But a lot of your drives would be, like, 15-play drives. So that kind of reminded me of that when you said that. Ooh, good little throw. Hit the delayed route. Is that a first down? Third and one, and they're going, uh, I'm going to go cover one on this one. I can say I'm just trying to punch it in for a first. They're doing that. Let me just shift over. A little man beater, simple enough. Yeah. I expected a run there. Now they're going hurry up after that try to run the fourth quarter. Let's see if they call something goofy here. Nope, they're going to pass it. Get him, get him, get him. A little screen around, but he dropped it. That play actually could have made some decent yardage out of it. Second and ten. Let's go quarters. I'm gonna do over front. Oh, he's wide open. That was my. That's a face mask too, but they didn't call it. A whole lot less flags in this game than it was in the other one. I, I need to go back and check how many there were. But gosh, it was awful. We had, what, nine turnovers? It felt like six or seven flags. Just a sloppy, sloppy game. I'm going to kind of get that. Oh, just my McNeil whiffed on that play. Completely misjudged. So they got a first there. Now they're going to go hurry up. They're going back to ace big. And they're going basic run with a play action play. I can't get him. Ooh, he's going to run up the middle. We'll pick up eight yards. Now, they'll probably call this same play over and over again. Nope, they're going to switch it up. Good. I'm going to go back to 4 2 5. Let's go cover three. And we'll do something like this. Wide open over there. But he overshot it. Third and two. I'm going to go cover one. Oh, that's right. They'll probably run, throw this one. I didn't think about that. Doesn't really matter. The game's over with. I'm going to go after him anyways. Ah, oh, good job of the right tackle. Make a tackle there. So that's what, fourth and one? They'll probably go goal line. They're not going goal line. 4-2-5. Let's go cover zero on them. I think they'll run it. We'll do something like this. Yep, basic halfback dive, though. I try to pinch in, just wanting to be good enough. So it's first and 10. They're going back to hurry up. We may get an offsides call on us. Nope. Intercept that. He dropped it, thankfully. Give everybody a break. We'll go back to cover three. Is this our first shutout of the season? Well, they, they still may score here, so I don't need to talk too much. I'm trying to think if we had one any this year. They'll probably hurry up here. They're not going to. We'll go cloud. I'm surprised. I've, the CPU's done a really good job on this hurry-up stuff. Normally, they do a terrible job of it. They call plays that don't mean to be called. and I think he's done an okay job. I can't get around the guy. He's got all day to throw. But a bad throw. He's a terrible quarterback. Not very good at all. 4-2-5. We'll just go back to cover three. I expect a throw, you would think. We'll do this. I'm going to do a, a bump and run. 
I can't see what's happening over here. And we stop the true freshman, and that should be the game right there. I think when I... I'm going to do a QB kneel. Surely they won't stop the clock. They know it's over, right? So we won our first bowl game of the dynasty. 24 to none. So we're going to get a shutout. I was not expecting that. And we're going to get double-digit wins this season. But I've said it a few times throughout the season, especially this last few games. Next year is going to be an uphill battle. We're losing so many players, it's not even funny. Some really good players, guys that really make a difference in our program. We're going to have to replace them and hope for the best next season. Just build off of that to season three. And, ah, oh, dang it, they may call a timeout after this play. I guarantee that's what's going to happen. So we may get a few more plays in, unfortunately. Get down to a couple more seconds. I hope they don't call a timeout, but I guarantee you they will. Two, one. I told you they would. That's just dumb. I don't know why. It's just built-in programming. Whatever. So we'll play a couple more plays, and then we'll end this bad boy. We'll do this. And I forgot that wind. I forgot about that wind. Now they got to give field position. So it may not be a shutout. <laughs> Jeez. That would be terrible if they scored the very last second. Oh, gosh. Let's get a stop here before they go Hail Mary on the next play. Oh, a little. I don't think he got the first. He did. But they're calling a timeout. So it was three seconds. So what we're going to do, we're going to go cover two man. And this is a Hail Mary play for them. So I'm going to go after him. Ooh, it's not. They're calling something different. Maybe because they're so close, a Hail Mary's not really worth it. And you call that play. Fine by me. That was dumb. End of this game, 24 to nothing. Our first bowl victory. That's going to get us to 10 and 3. Really cool to see. Congratulations, Akron, winner of the 2005 GMAC Bowl. Season record, 10 and 3. It was the Brig Show, pretty much. We'll hurry this up. And we're going to look at some stats. 396 to their 166. Just one of the better defensive games we've had. But again, their offense just wasn't very good in general. We ran the ball okay. We passed the ball. We had some real goofy passes. We was able to convert on a few. We've done a good job on third down. The key, we didn't turn the ball over five times like we did against Toledo. We kept it clean. They had a couple, and that pretty much led it to a, the scores. what you see there. Let's go to individual stats. So we have three guys got the throw to ball today, but it wasn't a good way to do it. A lot of it was due to injuries. 37 yards, 87 yards, 45 yards. Neither one of them, none of them got a touchdown, but it was the Brig Show. 115 yards, three touchdowns. This is his last game. Caduce to him. Just been so great for us this year. We was able to get a bunch of guys run the ball today, but it was pretty much all Briggs. Receiving, again, not a whole lot to see here. Defensively, Pace and Roar and Walker and McNeil. So everybody kind of spread the love on the tackle front. Tackle for loss, we got a few. Grant, White, and Walker. Sacks won, and we was able to get a couple of interceptions with Pace. And with Roar, I think his interception is kind of what sealed the deal today. So let's exit out of here. And what I, we're going to do, we're going to send the rest of the season. I'm not. We're not going to watch the national title game like I've done that last dynasty. But Akron wins the GMAC Bowl. We will definitely accept that. That's our first trophy of the dynasty. I do not want to save it just yet. We're going to sim all the bowls. We'll look at and see who won and all that good stuff. I'm I'm going to guess it's LSU. It would be funny if Michigan State won it. Pretty good room tonight. We had a lot more viewers tonight than I expected. Fr Friday night, you just never know what people are getting into. So we have some offers, a four-year extension with Akron, Pitt, or Wake Forest. I always like, I wish they would fix this. You go to Pitt, they're 7 to 5. That makes legit sense. Like if you wanted to move on to a different program, a 7 to 5 team 
but they were Big East champs. So that don't make any sense. I would not take that job. The only reason I would take it is I would have to pretend that their coach went off to do something better. He got another job somewhere else. So that would be like my little storyline there. I still wouldn't take it. But you look at Wake Force, they're seven to five. Uh, that could still kind of make sense if you wanted to go that route. But I've seen so many coaching offers where that previous team goes like 10 and two. But we've seen it so much that great coaches, they'll take over great programs just could, due to somebody retiring or leaving. So it is possible. But we're definitely going to sign the four year extension. We did not beat the five or six stage prestige program. The only one we went up, went up against was Ohio State. And our schedule gets a little bit tougher next year. I want to make sure of that. So we moved up to a three-star program, which means I'm going to just stick with three-star and below. Just make it a little bit tougher on myself. So we're going to extend that. I do not want to advance to the offseason. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed all of that. In our next Dynasty video, it'll be maybe Sunday. We'll just see what happens. We are going to do the offseason. I'm going to try to take my time with it. It'll still be a solid hour and a half to two hours. Even my normal off-season videos are like an hour and a half long. If I take my time with it, we all can recruit together, that type of thing. It could be a nice little two-hour video, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Everybody loves off-season. I enjoy it. It's one of the reasons why we still play in play football because recruiting is just fun. I enjoy it. I always enjoy recruiting more than drafting players and trading players. I'm just not a franchise guy. I like to recruit and build programs up. And no better way to do it than through games like this. So thanks for everybody that came in to the live stream. Really good night for it. Good way to end the season. Too bad we didn't win the conference championship game, but that's okay. Maybe we could try it for again next season. But having a 10-3 and three season that first year, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you are too. So, again, thank you for coming in, and I'll talk to you later.